Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Fahmi, but you can just call me Fahmi, and I will be reading some reviews of Coffee Talk. It's really cute, artsy indie game. The story is adorable. The characters really come alive. Ah, uh-huh. and there are cats. Exactly. I always divide game into two categories. cat games and dog games so basically dog games are like grpg the games that require like commitment and cat games are the one that just like chill with you and that's basically the main idea of copy talk cozy game makes me want to drink warm drinks at midnight that's exactly the point of the game like that's where the idea come from i was working late i was drinking a green tea latte and i was like how can i make this into a game and that's how coffee talk was born Well, the relaxing coffee shop by this experience with interesting and amusing characters. Oh, Neil. Yeah, Neil is my favorite one. It's so fun to write Neil. Downside, these damn games make me crave coffee at all hours of the night. Thanks to this game, I start drinking coffee at 10 p.m. So yeah, I know. I know how you feel about it. Good visual novel, but wish there were, <laughs> there were more game elements to it. Okay, so this is one of the biggest worry we had when we were developing the game. At first, there are more game elements to it, but... In the end, because that's not the thing we want to convey, we drop them, and that's the game you played and not recommended. I love how heartwarming Coffee Talk is. It is excellently written. Oh, thank you. Making for a very enjoying story-driven game. But thank you so much, man. I, I don't know how to react other than saying thank you. Oh my God. Fulfill your dreams of being a barista in a relaxing cyberpunk setting without dealing with the terrible customer that in reality it comes with. I mean, like we actually tried to make some customer a little bit terrible, a, bit, a little bit annoying, but I, I don't want people to hate my characters. You start playing it and suddenly you are sitting there making a hot drink for someone, listening to them and the beautiful of my ambience music and you forget about the world around you. Oh man, I forgot a lot about the world around me when I was writing it. So yeah. Thank you. Only complaint. Oh, whoa, whoa. Somebody like Bailey's? Some people think he's handsome, but he's like the most annoying character in the game. <laughs> Thank you for liking Bailey's. I'm, I'm sure he's happy. This game is very special. I think it may actually be my 2020 Goti. Even my 2020 Goti was Hades. Fun fact, I wanted to put it as a band name inside the world of Coffee Talk, but I forgot. Good way to get a smile on your face on quarantine time. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, like, the game just came on the right time. It's magical, I guess. It's very relaxing, and yet it keeps you interested at the same time. I'm obsessed. Oh, man. I don't even I don't even love this game as much as these people. <laughs> well, thank you so much. <laughs> very good game. Made me realize that visual novels are actually my kind of thing. Oh, man. When you start diving in into VN, It is something that you really need to check out. It's an amazing genre. The video for Mark 40 or so second edit. What? <laughs> Even the intro for the company logo is like 30 seconds. <laughs> I hope they got it on games with gold or something or PS Plus. Aqua is basically, yep. Aqua is the best girl indeed. I won't fight you. I agree with you. Aqua is the best girl. I love this game. It's a perfect game to play after a stressful day to help relax. Kind of funny because it gave me a lot of stress. <laughs> But I, I'm glad that it helped you. The, the main idea of the game is that it's a bedtime story for people who came home from work. They have like 15 minutes or 30 minutes to play games and every single in-game day can be played in those time frame. The game is so fantastic for a chilly autumn or winter evening while enjoying hot drink of your choice. Oh, thank you. The funny thing is we don't have autumn or winter in Indonesia. <laughs> so we don't know how it feels. The stories are pretty funny. Pretty funny, okay. And I'm playing this together with a friend. Oh, nice. I don't have friend to play it with. We voice act every character with the proper voice that we think that matches. It's fun to do with a friend. I didn't expect people to just like role play the games. And when I saw it on YouTube, streamers are playing the game with their voices. I was like, oh, this is even more fun than playing it on your own. <laughs> Super amazing storyline. Great character building, man. I'm, I'm starting to like, what do these people see from the game? <laughs> I'm not that confident with my skill to make this. Thank you, I guess. Thank you so much. It it, it, it boosts morale. I mean, it's like, if you like video games, say nice thing to the dev because trust me, almost all game developers think they, their game sucks or they did a bad job. <laughs> so if you like a game, do this nice things. I mean, thank you so much, man. Like, uh, Coffee Talk was a very personal project for me. It helped me through a very weird time in my life and I'm glad if it can help you in some kind of ways too. I just want to say thank you. This game basically changed my life and 
You the players are part of the things that change my life for the better. So thank you so much. 